Hello again, everyone, and good morning. I want to go over your practice test. Remember, your test is tomorrow. Those of you in class will have a hard copy, and if you go home and access it online and do it there, uh, I'll count that. I'm not going to do the better one, okay? Uh, the computer will, but uh, as far as the hard copy, if that's the one you want, then don't take the one on the computer. If you're at home, you're going to get two tries. Uh, let's take a look here. Identify the fraction that's equivalent to this. Well, the best way to do that is really just take your calculator watch. Five, you could reduce it. 5 divided by 9, I get 0.5 repeating. So you're looking for one that's 0.5 repeating. I'm going to work backwards. So 30 divided by 45, that's 0.6 repeating, so we know it's not that. 25 divided by 36. Nope, not that one. 20 divided by 45. Not that one. It's got to be this one. So 25 divided by 45. And there it is. Okay. So if you reduce this, you divide by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5, and 45 divided by 5 is 9. And there it is. Okay. All right, this one right here, you multiply. Now the way I taught you to do that was number 2, put 1 over 9 times 5 times 6 is 30 plus 4, so that's 34 over 5, like that. All right, so I'm trying to reduce. I don't see any top numbers and bottom numbers that go together, so I'm going to get 35, or 34 rather, 1 times 34, and 45, and I don't think I can reduce. So there it is. That's the one I'm going with. All right, number three, you're adding. Remember, you need the least common denominator. 3 times 4 is 12. 13 over 4 plus 1 over 6. Take the 6 and put it over here. Take the 4 and put it over here. So you're going to get 6 times 13, some big number. And I get 78. So 78, 6 times 4 is 24. This is 4 over 24. I add that up. 70 got the same denominator. So I guess that's 82 over 24. And then I reduce by 2. Okay. So half of 8 is 4. Half of 2 is 1. Half of 2 is 1. Half of 4 is 2. I get 41 over 12. Now we're going to take 12 into 41. So clear your calculator. 41 divided by 12. I get 3 and some change. So 3, um, it's either this one or this one. Okay. Now, let's take a uh, look at the change. It's 0 0.41. 0 0.41. So take 5 divided by 12. And I get 0 0.41. So it's this one, not this one. Okay. All right, next. This one right here, number 4, is subtraction. So you want to go ahead and uh, 7 17 times 2 is 34 plus 1. So 35 over 2 minus 4 times 8 is 32 plus 7 makes 39 over 8. Take the 8, put it over here. Take the 2, put it over here. I'm going to get 8 times 35. So 35 times 8. I get 280 over 8 times 2 is 16 minus 39 times 2, I get 78 over 16. Now I have the same denominator, so I'm going to do minus 280. Disregard the negative. Change it if you want. So I get 202 over 16. I divide by 2, and I get 101 over 8. Okay. Now let's take a look at the answer choices. So clear it out. Press 101 divided by 8. Let's see what that is. I get 12 and some change. It's got to be this one. Okay. You can check it. This is 0 0.625. So take 5 divided by 8. And you should get 0 0.625. When you do. All right, this one right here. All right, let's keep moving. Um, this one is division. So for number 5, it's 7 over 9 divided by 9 over 18. Remember, when you divide, you got to flip it first. So it's going to be 
7 over 9, then you got to change it, flip change. So this becomes 18 over 9. So I clear my calculator. Look, if you reduce this, you're going to miss it. Remember, you can't reduce when it's division. You can reduce here. 9 goes into 9 once. 9 goes into 18, 2. When you multiply, you can reduce. 7 times 2 is 14 over 9, so that's going to be a 1 and 5 over 9. Let's see if they have that. 14 over 9 is the way they left it. All right. Again, you can go back to this video as many times as you want. This is a proportion, okay? I didn't really show you this one, but I'm going to show it to you right now. What you do is you cross multiply. When you have a fraction equal to a fraction, you cross multiply. So that's 60 and 5 times h. You're trying to get h by itself, so you want to divide by 5. I think it's going to be 12. I would go with that one, but you can use your calculator and check it. All right, look at this one right here. A fruit stand charges $7 for 8 pounds. So you're going to set a proportion up. So $7 over 8 pounds. Okay, so you got money over weight. And here, they give you 24 pounds. So if you have, good morning. So if you have 24 pounds, pounds is going to go down at the bottom. Number 13 is right there in the corner. Um, and then put an X right here. And so you're going to cross multiply. So you're going to get 24 times 7, whatever that is. Look, make sure that if the pounds is at the bottom, you put pounds at the bottom. Thank you so much, all right? So I get 7 times 24, and I get uh, 168. So I get 168 is equal to, um, this right here is 8X. And now we're going to divide by 8. When we divide by 8, it's going to be divided by 8. And I get 21. So 21 should be the answer there. And there it is. Again, what you're doing is setting up a proportion. You got money over pounds equals money over pounds. Make sure you set it up the same way. Okay. On this next one right here, you have a double sign here. So circle it. A positive times a negative is a negative. So a negative 1 and a negative 6 is a negative 7. And that should be your answer there, which is right here. This one right here, you multiply. A positive times a negative is a negative. And 2 times 4 is 8, so you're looking for a negative 8, which is right here. This one right here becomes a positive, a negative, double negative. Okay, two negatives makes a positive. So I guess that's 36. So I'd go with that one. This one right here, you're dividing. So negative 35 divided by 7. You have one negative, so it's going to be a negative 5 is what I'm looking for. And there it is. Okay, let's keep moving. This one right here is uh, parentheses first. So I'm going to get a negative 4. Now let me take a good look at that because it's kind of hard for me to see. It looks like a plus. Okay, so I'm going to go with a plus, but I could be wrong. This is 5 squared, so that's plus 25. And then this parentheses is going to be a negative 3. I have more negatives than positives. And then I want to go ahead and cube that. So this right here becomes 21 times... This is a negative 3 times a negative 3 times a negative 3. I have three negatives, so that's going to be a negative. Now, I get my calculator. It's going to be a big number. So I get 21 times 3 times 3 times 3. I get 567, and there it is right there. All right, and it should be a negative because you have three negatives. Okay? All right, let's go to the back side. We're almost done. All right, hang in there. Let's take a look at this one right here. We're going to do parentheses first. So 2 squared is 4. I guess we can do that. This gives me 7 plus 10. Now you multiply because this is addition and subtraction. So you multiply here. So it's 4 minus 35 plus 10. Now it doesn't really matter, but you're supposed to go from left to right. So this is a negative 31 plus 10. That's going to give me a negative 21. And that should be the answer for that one. And I see it right here. You can check them. I gave you the answers. This next one right here is a trapezoid, okay? And the formula for a trapezoid, area of a trapezoid, is right there, okay? So the height, remember, color the box. That's your height right there. Okay, this is your base. The bases are parallel. So it's one-half the height 
times the sum of the two bases. So it's 26 plus 46. I'm going to do the parentheses first. Um, I would divide last. Okay, so it's going to be 7 times whatever the heck that is. That's a 2. That's 672, I think it is. So clear your calculator out. Press 72 times 7, press equals, and then uh, last thing I would do is divide by 2. So divide it by 2, and I get 252. So the area of this trapezoid is 252, and area is square inches, okay? Last one. Notice there's no directions here, but if you look at the answer choices, it's squared, and squared is area, okay? So area of a circle, write this down, is pi radius squared. Pi is 3.14. The radius, we're going to go ahead and write that twice, so it's 9 times 9. So I clear out my calculator, and I get 9 times 9 is 81, and then times 3.14, and I get my answer of 254 point something. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go with this one. All right, that's pretty much it. That's your practice test. Good luck tomorrow. You can go back to YouTube and watch this as many times as you want.